We respectfully acknowledge the traditional owners of the land and sea of the Moreton Bay region and acknowledge elders past, present and emerging. Welcome to Caboolture Regional Art Gallery, one of Moreton Bay Regional Council's six galleries and museums. My name is Melissa and I'd like to introduce you to an artwork from our current exhibition, Simon de Groot, Constructive. Even though the exhibition is called Constructive, de Groot's works often start in a state of deconstruction before they are reassembled. Let's take a closer look. This is Cove de Pont, painted in 2014 and winner of the 2015 Moreton Bay Region Art Awards. De Groot draws on inspiration from the environment around him, not just buildings and nature, but the things in them. Cove de Pont actually refers to a type of edge often found on kitchen countertops. Take a minute to have a look at Cove de Pont. Can you see where de Groot has used that shape in this painting? Speaking of drawing inspiration, de Groot often draws his shapes in his sketchbook, ready and waiting to be painted into new life. This process of taking shapes out of their original use and design is kind of an abstract idea in itself. Reconstructing them into a playful visual experience. Reinterpreting how we see everything around us. Also, there are secrets within this work. Pentimenti, visual traces of a previous life underneath the layers we see. From the distance, we can see de Groot's impressive and funky designs, but take a closer look at the work. There are small overlaps and shapes that don't quite line up or connect. White paint covering up another colour. A triangle that looks like it should line up with the yellow, but doesn't. All these uniquely perfect details show that de Groot's initial deconstruction, reassembly and application of clever painting techniques create an abstract, an abstract that is made by human hands. We hope you've enjoyed meeting this artwork. Stay tuned for more art from Caboolture Regional Art Gallery. Keep up to date with what's happening by subscribing to our Galleries and Museums Now newsletter.